Hello, friends, and welcome to your weekly meditation. Where can you be that facilitates a long spine? How can you be? And knowing that you're going to be in this position for approximately 20 minutes, take a few moments here at the beginning. It doesn't have to be that you plop yourself down and bam, you're set, right? Take a few moments and wiggle and move and readjust. Find that place that you can hopefully sustain. I've been really loving the image of, <clears throat> I often talk about like tree roots, but then a uh, wonderful, wonderful Roshi, Genjo Marinello from Seattle was talking about having a tap root. So quick descriptor in case you're like a tap root, anyone tried to pull out a dandelion from the earth and if you start up high, you just pull off the stem, maybe the leaves, because that tap roots down so low. So you have that special tool that goes down into the dirt to get down low enough to pull the whole root system out. That is the tap root. And the other thing he said to me was with a question I gave him about taking in this immense suffering of the world and all the people around me, the earth herself. <clears throat> the political injustice, the school shootings, right? Just everything going on. How, as an empath, do I live with all of that? And his main suggestion was a taproot. And that all of that stuff, we can take it in, we can, but we don't want to keep it in. We want to send it down the taproot into the earth and give that energy back to the earth and the earth can recycle it. So if you have been having a lot of things coming your way, taking in suffering, feeling some pain yourself, maybe you can imagine that tap root allows you to let all of that drain out of you, down into the earth. So take just a few moments here in the beginning so that we can reset our energy system, our subtle body, and imagine that all of the energy, even if you haven't been holding on to sorrow or suffering or pain, right, all of that energy from the crown of the head down through the face and the neck, it all starts to move down that tap root, right? Let it come up from the fingers through the hands, the wrists, the arms, all the way up to the shoulders and start to drain down the torso, all the way down through that tap root right, to the center of the earth. Let it come from your toes, up through your feet, your ankles, your legs, that tap root's coming out of your tailbone. Let all of the energy from your entire body move all the way down into the center of the earth through your tap root. And of course, this is a visualization, part imagination, part remembrance, what these things feel like. And then once all of that energy has drained out and gone over into Mama Gaia's compost pile, she's got this beautiful, rich hummus, this energy that now she's going to Send up through that tap root and let it come all the way up to the tailbone and let it then drain down and fill up your toes and your feet, your ankles, your legs, all the way to the tailbone. And now we're gonna get another quality, right? That's that dense, heavy, stable earth energy. But we don't wanna be all that. So let's go up and let's take up some of that cosmic energy in through the crown of the head, the ether or the air around us, right? That space, bring that down through the crown of the head, all the way down the back of the spine until it comes down to the tailbone. And now let those two energies mix together to your perfect blend for what you need today. And if you don't know 
right? You don't have to rationalize or try to figure out what that is. Just trust that intuitively you know well enough to mix those two energies together. And then it's going to come fill up that spine and that belly through the ribs, the chest, through the upper back. And it's going to go all the way down the arms until it fills up the fingers, the hands, the arms, all the way up through the neck, through the head, right? And everything that that entails until every cell and tissue in your body is filled with this new energy, new prana. And then sitting for just a few moments and experiencing what that feels like in your body. the breathing be free and easy. If it feels comfortable to do so, you might even think of that energy fountaining out through the crown of the head, right? You always have those two sources, the energy coming up from the earth and down from the cosmos mixing, filling you up and let it fountain out through the crown of the head and come down around you, filling up that electromagnetic field, AKA aura. So about an arm's distance in front of you, behind you, above you, below you, to the side. Let that area fill up with that energy. Notice if there's been a shift at all with that visualization. What does this feel like? Tuning into your body and your experience. So right now we're in, you can be other places definitely, but I'm really trying to invite us into our sensational body, I'll call it. What does it feel like? What is the sensate or the felt sense? At this moment in time. And it doesn't have to be all peaches and cream. But at the same time, for my friends who are used to dealing with chronic pain or issues along those lines, it doesn't always have to be that either. Right? If you are dealing with chronic pain or just an area in your body that's painful today, don't stay focused on just that. Go to the other sensations, the non-dominant sensations and notice those as well. And give yourself permission to just stay as best you can 
in that felt sense for now. And you can stay with the sensations of the body or maybe you start to add in the awareness of the breath and bring the attention there. That could be the rise and the fall of the belly. Movement of the chest Noticing air in the nostrils, right? Anything to do with your breathing, your respiratory system. And just remembering that all of this is a non judgmental experience. And if something doesn't work or it becomes uncomfortable for any reason, you can always change. All we're trying to do is use that sense of focus. Right? It's like a flashlight. We shine our focus. Right now we're working with either the sensations in the body and or the breath. The mind will meander. So stage two is that we notice that. I like to have a little celebration when I notice. Give myself a little pat on the back that I did notice and became aware. Stage three, redirect, bring it back to whatever you're working with. That point of focus. And the mind will meander. It's a thinking organ, quite literally. Notice that it wandered. You can label that thought, thought. Again, feel free to have a little celebration that you noticed. And redirect. Come back to those physical sensations and or your breath. And 
You still have that flow of energy. You can always connect into that, think about it for a moment, and maybe that helps you feel that energy moving throughout your body. feelings or emotions come up. You're not trying to get rid of them. You can sit with them, notice the physical sensations they cause. Do they constrict the throat? Make your body temperature rise, your jaw clench, right? So notice what happens. And try to release tension that it may cause. Breathe into it. And then when it feels like it's done rising, so to speak, and you've breathed into it, maybe you can just think of sending that down to the earth through that tap root. And again, not just pushing it down to get rid of it, let it rise up and experience it, but then let that move. Myra Lewin talks about emotions are energy in motion. And then before we finish this meditation, either bring your awareness to that place just above your navel, or you can put your hand or both hands upon that center, your solar plexus. And when you exhale, a couple of times in a row here, at the very end of the exhale, just gently pull that part of your belly back to the spine. Doesn't have to be anything major, maybe 30%. And then you'll go into a passive inhale, a pretty passive exhale, but at the very end of the exhale, just gently pull that belly back just a little to the spine. And do that maybe one more time. And this is just so we recognize our center as a source of strength and support for us. The center is a place of intention and purpose. It stabilizes us. So may this center, the solar plexus center, support us and be a source of strength as we move throughout our day. Bring those hands together in front of your heart in prayer, namaste, or anjali mudra, we usually call it here. Inhale and get nice and tall. Exhale as, you're bow, as you bow your head in. Just take a moment and, you know, may this practice benefit, right? Our intention towards health and well-being that we brought with us today to this practice. And actually may this benefit all beings everywhere towards their health and well-being as well. Namaste.
And just to put out there um, for me, personal experience is um, especially going through COVID, well, going through a divorce and being single and then going through COVID and being single and being by myself an awful lot. Um, I have learned to call upon support in a lot of places that are not human. <laughs> whether that's the ground underneath me, gravity coming up to hold me, sitting against grandmother, silver maple outside in my yard. Um, and it's in inanimate objects too. It's when I'm laying down and I feel blocks underneath my legs, thanking them for being there, right? They did come of the earth at some point. So that may or may not speak to you, but I, it's been incredibly helpful for me to get support from everywhere. Yes, humans are great. I love their support but at the times when I can't have that or I don't have that accessible, um, my ancestors, my lineage, who I believe are all around me have been amazing support systems for me. And now I've got those and humans. So, yeah. Anyway, be well, friends. <laughs>